Hello and happy Halloween. You're watching Coolest Reviews. And I wrote this little story just for this Halloween. So I will be hosting as many short creepy pastas as I can until Halloween. Then I might do something different. Or I might keep posting these stories. I guess you will just have to find out. <laughs> this is a story I like to call Trapped. Sometimes all I see is darkness. The choking, musty taste of mold floating through my flashlight beam. Then darkness. When I was young, I was afraid of the dark. And I'm afraid of that deadly mold now. But let me back up. I wanted a job with good pay and not a lot of hours. So I accepted the first job that fit that bill. Sometimes I would be required to work long hours, but other times I would get entire weeks off and the pay was good enough to make up for the time I wouldn't be working. I would join a cleaning crew working for a company that deals with hazardous waste. A lot of times we were dealing with hoarders. Imagine climbing through a mountain of stuff packed throughout the house just to get to more stuff the owner says you can't throw out. Carving through corridors made by wavering stacks of stuff. One of them even collapsed on me. A plume of dust stinging my face, followed by a fit of sneezing. My sinuses burned. I got to the point where I didn't wear a respirator. Or even long sleeves. My lungs and skin were tough enough to take that most tenacious of houses. I always wore thick rubber gloves, though. I always wore thick rubber gloves, though. And it wasn't long. And I was rolling in the dough. Sometimes the homeowner would even let us throw some stuff out, and the house would improve. Those days were great. After work, I would drink cold beer in the hot sun with my friends and play frisbee golf. We call it fall, but anyway. Today, we suited up and headed out to a hoarder's house. We came up against one of the most hard-nosed hoarders there ever was. Man, she was mean. I won't go into it because it's still too fresh. We found a tunnel under the house. And when I say tunnel, I mean civil war, or maybe it was prohibition, but it's in bad repair. We debated who would go first. There was so much mold. We never seen anything like this. The spores looked like Christmas lights. The tunnel creaked, and then a beam broke, dirt and brick came crashing down in a roar of crushing sound, cutting us off from all light. I think I'm afraid of the dark again, like when I was a kid. And huh, I better wrap this up. I'm running out of paper, and the batteries on this flashlight won't last forever. <laughs>